What's going on guys, Big, Big Cliff here, finally back out with a short little video for you guys. Uh, just to show you, what, show you what I've been up to recently. Um, I'm here in the parking lot of my apartment. I'm here with my um, Shirawar 125. So recently, I've been working on integrating my Hummingbird Helix 5 that I used to use for ice fishing back in Michigan uh, to use with my kayak here in South Florida since obviously I don't really ice fish much anymore. So, I did a lot of research and planned out this idea to have the unit here on the left side and then have my power inside here in the electronics pod for the, that's built into the Vibe Shear Water. So as you can see, I got my, I have a 12 volt, 10 amp hour Dakota lithium battery. That's what I used to use for ice fishing too. Um, so I took a power cable a boat size power cable and I spliced the terminals uh, from my fish finder kit so that way the power is all self-contained in this box um, I have kind of just a, a cable grommet come out the top um, for the power cable I'm gonna waterproof that overnight before I take this out tomorrow and the nice thing about the vibe uh, pod here is that it's got a place for the transducer cable to come out of the top of the hull without having to drill any more additional holes and a lot of you know if you've if you're watching this you might know about the transducer cables from hummingbird are come very long because they're built for like a full-size boat so i just took a couple of twist ties twist tied it into a loop here and then took a took a section of fishing rod travel case or travel sock here to cover the cables um, as it goes to the unit. And I have the Yak Attack um, gear, tra gear track mounted um, stand here. If we look underneath the boat here, So there's the transducer. Um, I decided to order the the stainless steel mount um, for the um, for the stern mount for the transducer, and, the, and then that white piece up there is a stern saver we found on Amazon. I can provide a link below in the description and the or in the comments. Uh, it's essentially just a PE spacer um, that's used for. Um, Putting a transducer on a trip, on a traditional boat, so you don't have to drill holes holes into the hull, and that way I was able to do that with this electronics pod too, so it's still watertight at least from the bottom, and then it also provides a spacer uh, for the transducer to reach below the hull of the kayak, and as you can see, it is like perfectly in line uh, with the the keel and on the bow of the kayak, so it's actually about as perfect as I could imagine it uh, as far as the spacing goes. I'll have to see what the picture looks like um, while I'm on the water for the readout. But yeah, I mean, essentially that's that's all it really was. I mean, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. But I'm really excited to try this out kind of step up my kayak fishing game a little bit i've really been really been into the kayak fishing scene in the past few months um but yeah hopefully hopefully i'll get some on the water footage with this kayak again soon but if you enjoyed today's video feel free to give it a like and uh subscribe if you to keep up with keep up with my content and turn on notifications so you never miss a video but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.